Hi, happy to have you back. Unless this is your first time here, then I guess happy to have you forward. <laughs> if you will, one final piece of trivia about saving. In the past, Blender was notorious for not having a really quit prompt when users quit the program. Despite all the ways that Blender automatically backs up your work, this caused a lot of strife in the Blender community due to people accidentally closing the program and seemingly losing hours of work. But rest assured, any version of Blender after 2.72 includes a quit prompt. Still, remember Blender doesn't save your current file if you open or start a new file without closing Blender. It doesn't prompt you either, so be careful not to lose your work that way. All right, that's enough about saving. In this part, we're going to review this topic, look at the next one, and then move on with the final challenge. This time we learned about the Blender user interface, its parts, how to modify the layout, and saving. A few hotkeys you should remember include Alt F11 to go full screen, Shift Spacebar to make an individual editor full screen, Shift left click and drag to duplicate an editor in a new window, and the combination of F2, Numpad Plus, and Enter to save, increment, and confirm your save file. By now, you should feel pretty comfortable with the interface. Our next and final topic in the orientation series is about navigating. We'll begin by talking about the coordinate system used in 3D space. We'll move on to the particulars of viewing objects in the 3D view editor, and finish with a look at viewport shading options. By the end of this topic, you'll feel pretty confident with controlling the 3D view editor and seeing a given object as you desire. Okay, and that's all she wrote. Uh, he wrote. Because I wrote this, and I'm a man, <laughs> obviously, <laughs> technically. Anyway, thanks for learning. My name is Jesse. This is How to Blend. See ya.